let's begin this new video hello guys and welcome back in this video we are going to see vsx architecture and concepts let's begin with what is the main components we will have or we will going to discuss here number one we are going to talk about the complete end-to-end -end architecture where we have vsx gateway communication with the management server we have virtual systems we have virtual routers we have virtual switches and the interfaces and the connectivity comes with them now to begin with let's start with a very important point which is the role of the management server in vsx a vsx gateway is a physical machine that hosts virtual network virtual devices checkpoint management server plays very important role in vsx architecture and the configuration consider this machine is your management server. I can call it like a multi-domain server, MDS, or I can also call it like a security management server. Depending on your requirement, you're going to configure this thing. In environments like a big, big scale environment, you have a MDS configure. And with a small, a smaller size environment, we can use security management server, a single device for that management purpose. Now, Let's see the management server role in VSX. VSX gateways communicate with the management server for the purpose of, you know, deploying, configuring and managing all virtual devices. This is your VSX gateway. In this VSX gateway, you have your virtual devices, which you set up for various purpose now to configure to deploy to manage all these virtual devices i for now i'm taking it as considering it as a virtual systems it may be the virtual routers or virtual switch whatever it is so performing the deployment configuration and management activities for these virtual systems and of the vsx gateway as well the vxs vsx gateway must communicate with the management server for all those things so the communication between the management server and the vsx is always must the important thing the sms or mds multi-domain server or security management server must communicate with the vsx gateway basically a management server security management server or a multi-domain server connect to the vsx gateway and provide provisioning and configuration services for virtual devices located on the vsx gateway we going to talk about this all vsx uh, virtual devices later on but for now consider these are the virtual systems which you know require a configuration to be deployed to work now the important points you know we talk about the connectivity between the vsx gateway and the management server or you can say the mp nodes important nodes which you need to be keep always in mind for one there is no support to manage a vsx gateway when the management server is behind NAT. so if this connection however is behind NAT, then there is no support to have a communication or have the proper communication between the mds and the vsx because there is a no support as of now provided from the checkpoint to have this configuration in place it means whenever you set up natting for vsx gateway or management server you need to take care of management server or a vsx they are not behind nat and we all know what is nat network address translation and what happens in nat public to private private to public ip conversation based on the uh, various nats available right and secondly it is not supported to manage a vsx gateway when management traffic is protected or travel from virtual system example 
this is behind the virtual system which is configured or the this virtual system is from this vsx gateway due to that the configuration or a communication between the vsx gateway and the sms will happen from this virtual system and that not supported for the management communication traffic so it is not supported to manage a vsx gateway when management traffic is protected or travel from virtual system on the same vsx gateway virtual system only can communicate directly with the management server whenever there is a need that can be possible there is a constraint that this virtual system and this management server they are not in in this management server is not behind this virtual system let's see what are the ways have to connect management server with vsx gateway so again consider this is your sms or mds and this is your vsx gateway to manage this sms or mds and this vsx connection between them there is two option available number one is locally managed connection right like a local management connection local management connection we call it this two devices appliances vm whatever it is they are or under or within you know uh, same geographical location or i would say in same data center okay so there will be the you know a physical connectivity between this sms mds sms or mds or vsx this connectivity be happening from special interface which in a checkpoint term they call it dmi stand for dedicated management interface which will use to connect the vsx gateway to management server dmi or a dedicated management interface nothing but the actual physical interface or you can say in a vm environment a virtual interface completely assigned for the management traffic there is no issue if this dmi interface having public or a private ip address it's okay with that now let's talk about the second option here don't have the management server the vsx onto the same geographical location consider this management server i have where you know other geographical location or you know a very distance from the vsx gateway it will be the connection like this there is some internet connectivity comes into picture and then the connection to the vsx so here the management server is not located within the same data center you can say where the vsx gateway is located this type of arrangement is very useful when management server and the vsx sends are geographical different which means when using a remote management server security management server or a multi domain server the management traffic travel via an internet or external network to the vsx gateway by means of you know any connection via you know service provider or the any sort of routers For example the management server connect to the vsx gateway means of any routers connected to the vsx management interface activity is from some you know, routers In this arrangement also the checkpoint recommend that you can use a dedicated management interface so this is how the arrangement is made up now let's move to the next topic here and let's talk about your dedicated management interface and non dedicated management interface dedicated management interface which we just talk about let's consider few important point about dmi dmi uses a separate interface restricted to management traffic such as provisioning logging and monitoring it segregate management traffic from routing production traffic dmi uses separate interface that is restricted to management traffic 
such as provisioning, logging, and monitoring. It segregate management traffic from routing production traffic because of that it enhance the performance especially for the end users important note here is that it not support manage vsx when dmi is configured with vlans if you are planning to configure the vlan interfaces which we're going to talk about it is not supported to manage vsx when the dmi is configured with vlan I mean you were dmi dedicated management interface configure with the vlan tags this configuration is not supported now let's talk about the non dedicated management interface it is a disadvantage while using non dedicated management interface one non dedicated management interface configuration non dedicated management interface configuration with interface deprecated and not supported remote management to via virtual systems also not supported also when we trying to configure such sort of you know provisioning like you know logging or the management traffic via non dmi interface your performance will drastically degrade so you have to keep this mind do not use non dmi interface for your logging or management traffic number 4 and the important one the non dmi non dedicated management interface is irreversible you cannot change from a non dmi vsx gateway to a dmi vsx gateway once you configure your interface for the management traffic from vsx to the mds using non dmi that will be the permanent you won't be able to reverse it but one can use non dmi to shared internal or external interface which carries you know the basic traffic for the users and other than the management traffic in this video we have understood what is the basic connectivity and the requirement to set up a proper vsx communication with the mds and few components of vsx architecture next video we are going to see what are the actual virtual devices which we can configure in vsx and what are their purposes so guys thanks for watching this video and i have a wonderful day